redemption. What a great reason to rejoice. Welcome to this, your daily 180 Bible study. We're looking at Acts chapter 8, 26 through 39. Verse number 39 says, The eunuch went on his way rejoicing. Why was he rejoicing? Yesterday, we introduced this idea that he went on his way rejoicing because he learned of the substitutional sacrifice that Jesus made on his behalf. You say, how do you know that, Bill? Because in verse number 35 of Acts chapter 8, we read that Philip preached Jesus to him. You can't preach Jesus and leave out the cross. And as we think about that, why is that so important? Romans chapter 3, verse number 23, you're probably familiar with this, all have sin. 1 John 3 and verse 4 says that sin is a transgress transgression of the law. It's lawlessness. It's rebellion against God. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of the perfection of God. None of us measure up. But I want you to listen to verse number 24 of Romans 3. Being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Do you understand what he's saying here? Jesus paid the price for us. There's a beautiful passage in 1 Peter uh, chapter 1, beginning at verse number 18, we're going to look at. Verse 18 says, Knowing that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or, silver or gold from your aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish, and without spot. What a beautiful concept. Jesus totally, totally paid the price for our sins. As a matter of fact, there's an interesting verse over in 1 John chapter 2 and verse number 2 that says that He's the payment. The, the word there in verse 2, and He Himself is the propitiation. It is the idea He paid the price. He was the satisfaction for the sin debt. He satisfied the just demands of the law. And He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the whole world. Jesus died for every reprobate, every despot, every individual. Now it's up to us to receive that pavement through absolute, total submission to His will. That's a reason for great rejoicing. Join us again tomorrow for your daily 180.